In Salmon Species 7, the CMOT library has the CMIR block. This block is used for the configuration of analog values. The analog values that are coming from various sensors like pressure sensor, temperature sensor, vibration sensor, etc. Those sensors need to be displayed. Either they need to be displayed on the HMI just like this one. You can see on the faceplate of the CMIR block, this is the output real-time value that has been configured. Additionally, we also want to use the analog values in PLC program for various interlocks and various settings. So as you can see in this PCS7 CFC logic, the C major block has various inputs and outputs. We can configure the analog value. Let me show you how the analog values has been interfaced with this C major block. As you can see, the IW728, IW, for the sake of understanding, for the moment, just ignore this PCS7 analog input block. Well, all you need to know for the time being is the PVN input has been connected with the IW728. 728 is the address. It's the address of the analog input channel of this particular PLC. In this case, we are using a 7400. And the pressure sensor that is interfaced with this particular channel. Now, coming back to the CMIR block. CMIR block is one of the most widely used CMART block and its function is to configure the analog values as I discussed that are coming from various sensors and once we configure it then we can use its limits into various interlocks where they are required. Also this CMIR block can be displayed on the SCADA as well and all these values as I show you in the beginning will be displayed on the SCADA HMI. As we discussed, the raw value coming from the sensor that has been interfaced with IW728, the analog input channel of the 7400 PLC, the scaling has been done already by this built-in block between minus 6500 and 1000 Pascal. And the output value is directly fed to this C major block MV physical input channel. Well, let me tell you about the MV physical channel of the C major block, whatever value we feed to this MV physical channel, it will be output by the C major block as it is. The major value will be minus 5139 as in this case, because over here we feed minus 5139 to this input interface directly. is shown over here. This value is directly connected to this MV physical input interface. But at that time you need to set the type to 10. Once the type is set to 10, it means that C major block is accepting the value at MV physical input interface and it is directly displayed as, as it is without doing any conversions. Simple enough. However, if you want to scale the values from the analog input channel, then, then you have to set this type value to 77. Once this type value is set to 77, then the C major block will not take care of the MV physical input interface value. It will just take care of the MV card value that is coming from the analog input channel. So I'll connect I728 just like the, the connection has been done with this built-in block. We need to connect it to MV card value and then we need to change the type value to 77 and the scaling will be automatically done according to these two values. As you can see the scale beginning 
value is minus 6500 and the scale end value is 1000 so if the value coming from the field sensor is 4 milliampere dc it means that this analog input channel will read 4 milliampere and the c major block since it is interfaced with that particular analog input channel will scale down the value of 4 milliampere dc to minus 6500 pascal however if the value coming from the field sensor is 20 milliampere dc at the analog input channel and we have interface that particular analog input with this mv card interface and the scale end value is 1000 the unit is pascal and the type is 77 this c major block will display the measured value is 1000 pascal and whatever the value of the sensor uh, ampere is between 4 milliampere and 20 milliampere that value will be scaled accordingly so this uh, is the explanation of the mv card inter input interface uh, mv physical type unit scale in scale beginning now if we want to set some threshold values and uh, connect those limits to various interlocks or various devices or various C drive blocks etc we need the, those settings over here the higher higher value in this case has been set to minus 500 higher value to minus 500 again low values minus 6500 low low minus 6500 well this can be adjusted according to our requirement so once we set these values just like this then for example the value minus 500 is touched this particular hh value will be set to high similarly for h low 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 for example the value of the low is getting beyond minus 6500 well this particular l will be set to high we can use this value in our interlocks if we need any tripping etc well over here you can see these four input release hh if you want to enable these limits then we have to set these to 111 high right we need to set it to high so that whenever these values are reached this particular output will be set high and it can cause any tripping or any other action in our logic over here you can see umfr it means release enunciation release enunciation means whenever we have any alarm well this block will be set to alarm mode and it will be displayed on the hmi for operator action well alarm will generate in case any false value is coming from the field sensor so that the operator can take action and rectify that particular value so this is in this case it will be set to one the bad value will be set to one and alarm will be initiated so these are the more uh, important input output interface of the c major block additionally if you want to have four additional uh, limit values well the c major block has been provided with these four values which are just like these higher higher h low and low low values so these are additional four inputs provided limits provided we can set these limits according to a requirement and whenever these limits are approached well in this case these four output values will be set to one once we achieve those limit values for example if shh has been set to 100 then whenever the value major value of this 
pressure is reached to 100 well SHH will be set to 1 and we can use then it in our logic whenever we want so this is the brief explanation of the CMO year block and uh, last but not the least let me show you it on the SCADA HMI the, all the values of the CMO year block so this is how the CMO year block values look on the HMI interface well these are the settings HH high SHH values low and low low values the real time values is over here and uh, release enunciation that is HH value has been released it means whenever the H, H value is approached the output HH interface in the CMYR block will be set to high and these are some other uh, parameters of the CMYR block the important parameters has been covered in this video if you have any question about the CMYR block and its implementation in the logic and HMI you can ask me in the comment section in the upcoming videos we will be talking about the additional CMART blocks and Simon Species 7 blocks for your understanding so that's it for now Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.